Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back to Bomber Career Chap. Uh, hopefully a good show. Uh, so, we are playing the update that has probably just been released by the time I'm saying this. I, I think the video goes out after the update. Uh, the update is the Halloween update. It adds a few new things, a couple of uh, tweaks and stuff. I think there's like now a couple of hotkeys to go to different places in the plane. Um, and it, you might see our aircraft over here does include some Halloween uh, skins. So we have a pumpkin spice base paint, a vampire bat on our nose, and pumpkin spice on our wings. I guess we could fly around this for like a couple of sessions for Halloween. Now, bear in mind, uh, I've spent some time between the last episode and this one basically grinding up, doing missions, and just trying to get a little bit of money back uh, off camera. Just because it's a little bit quicker that way, and you don't need to see me grinding the same simple missions over and over and over again. So our craft is now, I think, fully upgraded. Uh, we've got, this is really, really weird, three armored engines and a lightweight engine. Because the lightweight engine has a stupid amount of weight limit increase. Twice that and a bit of an armored engine. Now you might be like, well, what happens if the light engine goes? You're screwed. It doesn't work like that in the game. Weight limit doesn't apply in the actual missions. It just applies for like limiting what you can install. So. This is the only time it'll matter. After this, the only thing that's different is it'll be shot down and broken easier. And if it's broken, it doesn't really matter because that doesn't affect us other than the fact we lose one of four engines. All engines are considered the same in-game for purposes of lifting the craft and moving around. Gun turrets at the back. I decided to go with an ammo feed just so I didn't have to multitask as much. Uh, so we have a 50 cal times 2 mark 1 with ammo feed in the ventral and the upper. We've gone for the 4 times 303s. Because they're right next to the ammo box, so they can get ammo quite easily. At the nose, again, I've gone with a 50 cal Mark II. Because less ease of getting ammo, so might as well go for 50 cal. That's my thinking. Systems, electrical system Mark IV, hydraulics Mark III, radar Mark IV. Engine extinguishers Mark III. I could get a Mark IV. No, I can't afford it. Uh, oxygen tank isn't upgraded. We've got self-sealing fuel tanks. Three slot racks everywhere. Everyone has a first aid kit. There's only one fire extinguisher. There are seven parachutes, so in theory, everyone could jump out of this plane. Uh, I'm a little bit worried by the only one fire extinguisher. That's not going to be highly problematic for us. Nope. Maybe we should maybe we should just replace this one with a fire extinguisher. Sure. Uh, fuselage, everything is armored. Mark IV, which is the highest we've got right now. And all of our survival is maxed out. In terms of the crew, they're pretty much all the same. High armor, high survivability with Martech and Archer both having extra uh, buffs for movement so that they can move around a little bit easier. In theory, they should be keeping to their place. The idea now being that Archer is going to be a mechanic who deals with the front of the plane. And Martech is going to be a mechanic who deals with the back of the plane while also manning the ventral gun. So we've got the max amount of firepower at all times. I think that's it, uh, pretty much. I don't think there's anything else to be said other than, shall we jump into a game, old chap? Yes, well, tally ho! So. I could do the very high risk Operation Lantos. Um, and we have got enemy armor down for one mission. However, I kind of want to have an opportunity to get back into the game. Uh, I haven't played it in a few days. I was grinding, and I was like, I'm so tired of grinding, I will take a few days off. So I need to make sure I'm back in with the uh, the game. There are a few changes that we will go over, actually. Let me just pull up my email so I've got the uh, shortcuts on screen. There we go. So yeah, there is now a uh, slow time option. I believe, if we look in... Control slow time. So you can use the control to slow down time a little bit and be able to do all your actions really quickly. Uh, note, however, that you will lose uh, some of the reward for doing the mission if you actually activate that in a mission. So you will lose a little bit of the rewards. Um, I think you can turn that off. Allow slow time, yeah. So you can turn it off if you want. We'll turn show hints off as well. Uh, ammo dump, enemy damage down. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I want the enemy damage down. So we'll do a nice simple mission to begin with. The Todd Baron has been raining down artillery on the English coast. Our current bombs aren't able to penetrate it, but we can starve it of ammunition. Destroy the ammo dump supplying the guns. In which case, 
Sure. Now, there's also R to go to ammo box, F to go to medical rest, and P pilot station. Also, I can totally hold shift to do that. I did not know that. Thank you for telling me. And there's our slow down time button. Um, so if I press R... Can you get more ammo? No, it only goes up to three. Uh, that's one of the things in this game that I do think should be changing in the future. And actually, by the way, I was told by the people at Runner Duck, um, which is the, the group that made this, it's like literally two people, uh, that they have been watching and listening to my feedback and they uh, they will be making some changes to get rid of the death spiral mechanics, uh, which I really, really appreciate. I do always find it nice when um, devs are able to... Yeah, you need navigation update. Look, on the crown, mate. Um... Take them all that feedback. Like, I really love the game, but I do think there are issues with the death mechanic. And it's nice that they've taken that on board. Uh, you need to go get ammo. And then dump it up the front. Oh my god, everyone's so slow. Archer. Oh, drop, come back. Oh, I'm using right click. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things with the game I don't get. Is why is everything left click? We've got two mouse buttons for a reason. I mean, you get used to it. It's just kind of weird. We'll probably get a little bit more. I've got to get used to using R for that. And I know I can use like buttons to select people, but it's not really necessary. I also need a button to like go back to their default position. You've got one for pilot station, you've got one for medical rest, and you've got one for ammo. But there's no one to go back to default. Uh, should we get more ammo? Yeah, we'll be cool. Okay. Right. Let's do this. Take me off when September ends. Raise gear. Go to medium altitude. Let's get this party started. Martek. I'm going to try doing bombing from medium altitude. The issue is, of course, that quite often your navigator has issues with medium altitude. And of course you can have issues seeing the target from medium altitude too. Uh, take this cap off for a bit. Kind of shadowing my face, looking, making me look really, really evil. And you know, while I am evil. Oh, hello, enemy fighter spotted on radar. Open doors. Good defensive there. I think we've got the perk to take pictures from high altitude. Yeah, they're all tagged. Oh, hello. Right, that is uh, over here, Archer. Put that fire out. Okay, that's more fire. Have we got time to put out the fire? Hopefully. There we go. Picture taken. Chaos. Go get ammo. Martek might as well get ammo. I can't do anything thing without moving Archer back to the station. That's the marker. There we go. 
And one of our engines is down. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Kyle, go focus. Now, where is our bombing target? This will be here somewhere. So that was the bombing target we blew up over there, I think. Or oh, is that the one we took pictures of? I think it might be our picture one. Somewhere there is a bombing target. It's so over here. We're going to find it. We're going to blow it up. Tup. Tup. Hmm. Need to work on that one. Enemy fighters. Going to die. Enemy fighters. Well, I'm trying to fly. Something's failing on the plane, I think. Please don't be anything important. Please be like oxygen. Mm -hmm. That's important. Trot. Go get ammo, Sandman. I think we're good. Okay. Hydraulics are down, though, so... Can't really mark enemies. Can't really turn turrets. Hydraulics being down is not good. Is such a violent corkscrew right there. Kyle, go rest in the sleepy bay. Martek, go get the back turret. Sandman, close doors. Are we over blighty? I think we're over blighty. Yes, we are. Yeah, pre pressing F to be able to move, like, Kyle immediately to the uh, medical rest first aid is pretty helpful. And I think we'll also move down to low altitude. Hello, hello, that's our room over there. That mission went fine. No problem. Ah. Draw coming, everyone, boys. Okay, low gear. And... Boop. Done! Call that a success. Enemy damage down for two missions. Hopefully we can get like an enemy armor down or something or an enemy flak down. And then we'll do Operation Lelantos. Also like 10k from optional recon photos. Pretty nice. Oh, we've unlocked something. What have we unlocked? Is this more armor? 22,000 was a milestone. I really want my gunners to get up to where they get incendiary rounds. Lightweight Fuselage Mark 4, Hydraulics Mark 4, Radar Mark 5. Oh, I thought it would be better than that. I might get the Hydraulics upgrade, because as we saw there, when Hydraulics go, not having guns or anything is pretty painful. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want Lightweight or anything. Increase the sweep time again. Hmm. I'll take that. And I'll take the electrical system. Sure, why not? I think that's everything is upgraded like to max now on that craft. What have we got? Sub hunt doesn't do anything for us. Enemy armor down. Yeah, let's bomb the airfield. Medium duration, medium risk. Let's do it.
And the one after this is probably an ace mission. And if we do Lolantos, it will cancel out the ace, which is good because aces are ridiculous. Oh, no. God damn it. Okay, right. Uh, Martek, you're going to have to run back to here. Uh, Archer, run back to here. Chaos. Raise gear. Martek, get in that gun. Archer, come to the front here. Shrot. That's our navigation point. Drop, go get more ammo. Okay, so we've got three bits of ammo dumped up here. Everything's pretty upgraded. We're still missing, like, our level 9 abilities, which would be lovely to have. But we're en route now. Ah! Whoopsie. Now. We want to make use of stuff like Radio for Recon. We want to avoid any radar stations on the way. Yeah, no idea. Is that AA fire over there? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're fine at this altitude. Do you have navigate by stars? No, we need level. <sighs> need one more level. Not that it is night time, obviously. Like, I know that. But it would be useful for future. That's a lot of flak. Pretty sure I'm flying directly towards that nav point. So I'm not sure it's entirely necessary, but... Yeah. Take it. We're okay right now. We don't have to go after those optional photos, really, because we've got, like, everything upgraded, so we don't need more money. But since we unlock new stuff, we will need that money. Also, if we do lose this plane... God damn it, it's this plane. Uh, enemy fighters, where? We're gonna need money to upgrade and pay back, because this cost a lot. This cost a lot. Sure, we'll take the picture. It's basically en route. How? They're getting better at this whole shooting at me thing. I'm not sure I'm a fan. Okay, Sandman. Take photo. Corkscrew. Is that going to shoot us? Oh, good dodge on the corkscrew then. However, we will need to find a location that we can travel to. Yeah, I know we're over Dusseldorf. Where are we meant to be going? There we go. Kyle, go defensive. Oh, I didn't just put you on defensive, I meant to put you on focus. Oh, well.
Yeah, the ability to just select you and press R here. I don't have to zoom in. So good. Really, that was very much appreciated. You can go focus. Visibility is decreasing a bit. I'm a little bit worried there. You can't place your own custom waypoints if you can't see the ground for some reason. Bear that in mind. They're trying to get my engine. Yes, that looks good. Nice. Good shooting, Kyle. Chaos. Martek. Yeah, navigation might be difficult, but you can still see the ground, right? Oh, there's our target. Commencing bombing run. Open the doors. Select all. But one. This is going to be a tough attempt to actually bomb the location. We're going to have to circle back around, and I think we might have to go low, just so that I can make sure we hit. Low, emergency dive. Okay, here we go. Close door. Go to medium altitude. I want you to use your auto tag ability because there's so many like individuals running around right now. Uh, Kyle, go defensive. Chaos, go focus. Sandman, close. Oh no, close doors. Get in the front gun. Uh, corkscrew, corkscrew. That's flak, that's flak, that's flak. Put out the fire. Go boost on the fuel mixture. Uh, Martek. You're going to go and reload. You're going to need to reload as well. Okay, you can go defensive, and you can go focus. Ah, uh, that's fire again. Archer, quickly, put the fire out. Thank you. Right, flight that way. That should be back towards Britain. We're going to go high. Martek, ammo. Oh, we got him. Nice. Good shooting. Okay, let's just head this way. Be really happy when we get home and everything is fine. You can't see anything. Now I wish I had been able to, you know, fly by the stars and stuff. That would be helpful. People are going to start freezing. There we go. I'm just starting to freeze a little bit. 
Everyone else should be fine. I think it's Archer and Martek who might do a little bit of the freezy stuff. I haven't used control yet because uh, I don't want to lose money. We could find out what it's about, but... You can go and heal for a bit. We're flying in the right direction to get home. Can we see what's down there? Yeah, we can see it's ground. When we get over water, then we'll start, like, leveling out at medium altitude. Or, you know, when Archer freezes to death. That too. Is that water? Yeah, that's water. Sweet. Okay, bring ourselves down. You can go heal. Ah, oh, yeah, these hockeys are so good. You can go heal. We still see anything? No. Is that like ground? Is that water? I think it's water. I think. That's probably Britain over there, is my guess. We can see the ground now, so our next waypoint is coming. Okay, where are we? And are we going to run out of fuel? I have no idea where we are. There we are. Oh, yeah. We're quite off course. Martek, you probably needed to do your engineering stuff now. We are really off course. Whoops. Let's go lean plus. Got enough fuel to do this. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. And that is why I cannot be trusted with directions. I mean, our craft looks like it's got some pretty big holes in it, but I think we did fine. There we go. I do think that bombing from medium altitude is definitely the way to go, but it does require you to be able to focus really hard on the bombing. So by, you know, giving you a ammo feed, that takes a lot of hassle off our mind. Also having the hotkeys to tell people to go to the ammo also speeds that up. I also do think we need like a time acceleration when you're not like in combat like if there's no one actively firing at you and there's no one on your radar so like if there's no ground battery firing and if there's no one on your radar you should be able to time accelerate and then also you should be kicked out as soon as there is a ground battery firing or as soon as there's someone on your radar. Um, because right now I should be able to time accelerate, but that's not a thing, because you can only time accelerate over Blighty. Which is just coming up. Um, we've got enough fuel, let's go boost. I might regret this. We're using up fuel very fast, I'm aware. I told you to. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we coming from the north on this one? Yeah, we're coming into lands in the north. And bring her in. Come on. Dude. Done. Another successful mission. We managed to get a photo op that was directly en route. We'd have to do two bombing passes. But oh well. These things happen. No slow time bonus. 160. Really? That's not money that I care about. Like, yeah, I'm just going to use slow town whenever I feel like it now. I'm there's only so much of it. Oh, no level eights. No, what am I level eights? Fine. Armor fuselage mark five. Now we're talking. Okay. I mean, I know I should keep some money around. Just in case we die. But at the same time... Yeah, I want an armored fuselage. Right, that's all I can afford for the armored fuselage. Let's go and do... Yeah, enemy aces around. I think that the next episode actually is going to be Operation Atlantis. I think that we're going to have to dive in. And it's a long mission, so we'll probably put it in the next episode. For now, uh, I've been Andrew Lysium. We've had the Halloween update, which has added a few things, including some nice shortcuts. And uh, ba please bear in mind that uh, I know a lot of people have agreed with me on the whole. There is a death spiral mechanic, which is kind of problematic. Uh, they are looking into changing that and making it so that the death spiral is not so horrifically spirally grindy. Which is really, really nice to hear. So, uh, I've been at Relicium. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have liked, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And next time we go and bomb Alderhorst. Uh, we're going to go we'll do our best uh, setting one bomber behind enemy lines. And that's going to be all kinds of fun. Hopefully we won't die, because this is a very expensive bomber. Stay shiny. Mm -hmm.